Hi there and welcome. I thought what I would do today is just take you through a few cheap and warm ups. Okay, get the body moving, get the energies moving, get the blockages shifted. Okay. So one of the things I always do when I say this cheap and warm up is actually just to take a few moments. Okay, just a few moments for yourself, just to relax and try and calm the mind. Okay, and just bring the feet to hip. To shoulder distance apart. Main thing to remember, as I always say, is to make sure that the weight is even down both legs. And you can feel the contact with the soles of the feet, the floor beneath you. Just relax the back of the knees. So that means just let go of that tension. If you're holding that tension, that's where your blockages will start, and then the tension will just creep up throughout the rest of the body. So relax the back of the knees. We're just allowing the tailbone just to slide down just that little notch. If you're not sticking the bum out the back, you just relax and let it go. And then just roll those shoulders up a couple of times and back. And just let them go. Have a wee look down again at your feet. Make sure that the toes are running straight. So we don't want to be standing like this. Okay, not only does that create a bit of tension in the inner knee, creeping up to the side, it's also going to allow your chi or your energy just to disappear. We don't want that, we want to keep the energy within the body. Okay, bring your attention to the soles of the feet. Now, be aware of where the weight is on the soles of the feet. If you feel it's too far forward, tuck the tailbone under just that little bit. Try and bring the weight to the center of the feet. When we're saying the center of the feet, we're actually talking round about this area here, right? That almost like the broadest part. Okay, that's what we're looking for. And that is kidney one, young chuan, bubbling spring. That's right. So what we're going to do is just pinch up to the head. Just tuck the chin in just a notch. Feel like there's an extension from the crown of the head going upward. Feel the tailbone sliding downwards. Back of the knees are relaxed. And just relax into that posture. That's Ruji, your starting position. It should feel comfortable here. You can take a good few minutes just to make that final adjustment. If you think, you know what, my weight's not quite right. I feel I'm over to one side, just a little notch. Just adjust it. Make sure that you're comfortable. Keep saying to people, if I come into hip distance apart, my weight's over to one side. I've just got to widen it a little bit, okay? Just close your eyes for that little couple of minutes and just be aware of your breathing. Breathing in and out through the nostrils. And be aware if there's any tension areas within your body. And again, hopefully if you're in this posture or through practice, you will get it absolutely right. And the chances of any tension will be less each time you practice. So if you're aware of anything creeping in, maybe you can always make that little micro adjustment. Feel the crown of the head. It's almost like it's gently allowing you to pull you up with a nice straight line, tailbones tucking under. Feel the connection between the soles of the feet and the earth beneath. The connection between the crown of the head and the sky above. Concentrating on your breath. Breathing in, breathing out. Okay, you're breathing in and out through the nose unless that's not possible for you.
We're going to take the breath deeper. So bring one hand below the abdomen. It doesn't matter what one. So this hand is on that lower dantian. Two inches below the navel. The other hand is just going to gently place on your chest. So we're going to move into a nice abdominal breathing. As you breathe in, the lower hand rises and then the top hand. Breathing out, the lower hand falls and then the top hand. Breathing in, lower, the top, breathing out, lower, and then top. I move sideways, that will let you see in a movement, breathing in, breathing out. Taking nice deep breaths in and out through the nose. See that my body starts to move in a nice wave-like fashion. Exactly what we want. Like a bit of energy moving through your body. Remember to you're not used to this deep breathing, you can get dizzy, so just be aware of what's happening. We're going to hold on to that abdominal breathing. So I'm still breathing in abdomen to chest, breathing out abdomen and then chest. Drop the little top hand down, let it run over the thumb. Take that little mudra with the index finger joining. Center of this triangle with that lower dantian. Now when you breathe in, you can close your eyes for this. So breathe in, still abdominal breathing. But this time put your focus in the center of that triangle. Feel with every breath, you're bringing energy into that lower dantian. We're going to let go of the abdominal breathing this time. Stop focusing on the center of that little triangle. Breathing in, visualize pulling that energy through to the lower back and then in. As you breathe out, visualize the energy moving from the lung then right across into the kidneys. So visualization this time. Breathe in, pull energy through to the lower back. Breathing out, feel it spread to the kidneys. The more you practice, this the easier it will become to actually feel that chi moving and just work with it. Feel it moving through the body across to the lower back. Breathing in, breathing out, just feel it spread. Breathe in, breathing out.
Um, one more breath. Just feel those kidneys, feel like the energy's there. It's charged up. The energy's still in the lower dantian, but you're also pulling some of it through to the kidneys. Just let the hands slide down, just let the fingers wiggle them. Just take those wrists back and forward. Turn the head, weaken the brain slightly. Just roll the shoulders. So just going to do a little bit of tapping as a little warm up, just for a change. Okay, so just by gently bring the fingers. You can tap from the forehead all the way up the crown to the back of the head. Just opening up the, all the lovely meridians. And we're back ways at the crown of the head. It's a lovely meeting area of the yang meridians. You can come round to the back of the neck if you wish. A little tap. Over to the shoulders. Come down the front. Into a long one, just underneath the collarbone. Give that a nice little thump. Again, just helps the immune system. Long one, one of the alarm points or the move points. Into the centre, into the thymus. Centre of the chest. Down the centre. Do that again. We can work our way out to the outside. And we'll just have a nice soft palm. Some people like to use a hollow fist, but personally I prefer the soft palm. Okay, hollow well, fist does give you that kind of suction feel. I say I like the, the more of the feel of that hand. So we're going down the inside, pull the fingers, turn over, up to the outside, up to the shoulder. Down, turn, down, turn. And one more. Over to the other side. So just the same, down the inside, turn, up the outside. And up the back of the legs. Okay. So again, down, all the way around to the toes, up the back, all the way into the foot. You can come round again. And again, you can have a little thump into the quad, or the other groin, all the way round. Remember, there's tension, so we stop the energies from moving. So we want to release that. Over to the other side. Just coming back 
to centre back to your starting position. Make sure that you're comfortable. Relax the knees. Okay. Just let the arms to drift round. And we are turning from the centre. The abdomen's turning. Your arms are just floating like round. So it's like they're you're not actually trying to turn the arms because that would bring in the shoulders. You just let them float round. Remember to relax those knees. What we can do here is a lower arm well, at the back, should you just say, a little thump in that thing then again. It's absolutely fine. Other arm can come round with a little gentle tap on the side of the body. Come up and swing, lever, and go brother. And what we can do is we can bring the arm at the front, we can bring that up, little bump into long one. And if you're not entirely sure where that area is, don't worry about it. You can roughly in that area. Sure, it would make a lot of difference. If you do want to look it up, by all means do so. Under that collarbone. And what we can do is bring that front hand up and over into the shoulder next again. Over. You can have a thump or a flap, whatever works for you. Other hand at the back, still on the beanie. Maybe you're still relaxing those knees. We're going to bring the front hand to the lungs again. And then just let the arms to the Say. And just allow it to slow down. What we're going to do is we're just going to allow yourself to slow right down. We're just going to sink your weight. Okay. And then just going to open up to the core, lift the toes, mirror image of your leg toes. Pop the foot down, you're sinking. And back. Sink down. And back. Down. Lift. Sink down. Sink, lift, sink, lift, sink down, lift, and then more familiar we get with the sinking and then lifting, you'll be able to build the speed up just a little bit. If you want to feel this area and at that groin just opening up. And just bring it back to start. So that was yin for opening. We're just going to do the yang closing. So we lifted the toes the last time. So when you sink, lift the heel. Sink, lift the heel. Sink, heel. Sink. So you're not turning as far as you did when you were doing wrapping rounds, which is two dragons wrapped around the pillar. Just sinking and lifting. Feel the contact with the ball of the foot and the floor. Like you're folding over that quiet area now. And bring it back to the start. Oh. Hopefully that's given you a wee warm up. Okay, just have a little shake into the legs. Okay, so what we'll do is just a few arm warm ups. Okay, so stretch the fingers out. The fingers all the way to the thumbs. And rotate those wrists.
Now really bring those elbows in as well. Nice and relax. And then reverse. And then just resist. Relax. So just a few wee extra exercises for the knee. Bring the knees, the, the feet quite close together. Knees, bring your hands above the knee. So it's about an inch or two above the knee. So fingers are pointing inwards. My knees are bent. As I breathe, I'm going to turn my hand, fingers down, and just gently push the knees back just to stretch into the back of the knees. This all the time got a bit of tension. Bending the knees, fingers point forward to, towards each other. Straighten, gently straighten the knees. Fingers inwards as you bend. And straighten. Bend. Straighten. One more time, bending. And straighten. Lovely. Well, your knees are feeling okay. Little ankle exercises, weight onto one foot. The other one, we're just going to rotate into the ankle. So you're massaging the ball of the foot here as well. So again, if you have any ankle injuries, just do what you can, or feel free to just omit this exercise, that's absolutely fine. And we'll reverse it. Remember, we're also moving into the knee, so if it aggravates any knee, Issues, just be careful, do what you can, or feel free not to do it. <laughs> Pop that foot down, put your weight onto that leg, and over to the other side. And reverse. Just let it go. Bring your feet back into your starting posture, Ruji. Just a few neck exercises. So breathe in as you're looking straight ahead. Breathing out, just allow the head to be heavy. Feel that extension to the back of the neck. Breathe in as you come back up. Look straight ahead. Breathing out. Just let it go. Breathing in. 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 One more. Breathing in. And breathing. Bring your head back to centre. This time we'll breathe in, bring the shoulders up. Breathing out, just let them go. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathe in. Breathing out. Breathe in. Out. Again. And just let go. Just see how you feel. Hope that's helped. And as I say, it's just a little cheek on warm up. Okay. See how you feel. You can do as many repetitions of any of those exercises as you feel like. Absolutely fine. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it and um, tune in next time where I'll be probably adding something more to it and going over lots of different forms that we can do in class. Okay, take care everybody.